Hey everyone, Mike with Newfound Pass. This week's haul video, we had our usual three thrift stores. Uh, two of them yesterday, one today. Uh, honestly, wasn't spectacular, but it can't be that way every week, right? But it's still some really, really, really good stuff of the limited stuff we did get. So uh, let's just jump right in. First, this big daddy right here. This is a big vintage leather suitcase. You're like, hmm, I see those all the time at thrift stores. What makes this one special? Well, even though it's shelf worn, which means it has all kinds of, you know, scuffs and everything, this thing is new with the tags. Not only does it have this one, we opened it up and on the inside it has the paper layer and the instruction manual and the lock insert. It has everything. And this suitcase is made by Wings. Not a lot about this on eBay. If you search Wings suitcase right now, go ahead. There's not much out there, but what we have figured out is more than likely Wings was a company in the 60s or 70s. We can't really narrow it down yet, but they were probably acquired by Hartman. If you know luggage, you know Hartman is like A1 top-notch stuff. So uh, we figured this is as well, but um, we paid, well, we got, you know, about 25% off this, but it was tagged at $35. Uh, blue and pink were half off, so it was full price, minus 25%, so high 20s for this. So all we could do is use our, you know, experience to guess what this would maybe sell for. It was definitely worth buying in the high 20s because we think absolute low minimum is low hundreds. We think absolute high is 300s somewhere. So we're going to find out though <laughs> because this bad boy, this bad boy is going to get listed and we're going to find out together. So let me set this off to the side here. Next up down here, I have a um, <clears throat> a Toshiba DVD VCR combo. I usually don't pick these up at this thrift store, and the reason is they don't take returns at all. But blue and pink were half off, so this was that just with the half off was eight fifty, and we get another like additional twenty five percent off, and uh, so you know in the six or seven dollar range for this, no remote. Wasn't really able to test this thoroughly, as in hook it up to a TV. Sorry if you hear a little click, click, clickies. You know my puppies, and they're all around here. They want to be all active when I'm doing a video, but you know they're dogs. So um, I couldn't hook this up to a TV because honestly they didn't have one. But what I did do was I plugged it into an outlet, made sure it powered on. I put a tape in it, a, v a VHS tape. I played it even though I couldn't see it on TV I fast forwarded I rewound it you know just make sure all those mechanism work mechanisms worked I loaded a DVD make sure it loaded and it started playing you know you can hear it spinning up and uh, play and stuff rewind fast forward the whole deal so more than likely this is fine but there's still no guarantee at all you know I may plug it into my test TV and nothing but uh, at you know six or seven dollars it's a six six or seven dollars risk when I combine this with a, a remote, which I have, because I've hoarded remotes, with the cables, uh, blank tapes, and do the whole th testing thing, the whole testing stick. And when I test this, I will post a video about it. I've told you, uh, the viewers, that I would. When I do all that, this will probably bring between 75 and $100 in that range. So it's a gamble of six bucks to make, um, you know, maybe a hundred. So it's not that bad. Okay. Got to decide what I'm doing. Am I feeling strong? Feeling strong. This big one down here. This is a Sylvania four speaker, three CD changer boom box. And we picked this up, you know, after, you know, uh, blue and pink were half off, and this is orange. And it was 30 bucks, so we only got about 25% off of this. So, whatever that math is, low 20s on this. I did open this up in the store. The box is obviously shelf worn and beat up and people in a thrift store have ripped it and you know, do what they do in the thrift store. This was brand new in there. 100% uh, it still has the, the uh, boom box itself wrapped in the fac factory plastic. The remote control is wrapped in the factory plastic. Everything is new in here. So what will it bring? I have no idea. There is zero comps on this model of Sylvania boom box. Uh, used there's none used or new so you just never can tell this is a SRCD 856 model 
So, but just guessing, experience. Um, hopefully high hundreds, and that's probably what I'll shoot for, that 150 to 200 range. But 100%, uh, it will not sell below 100 bucks. So, low end of 100, high of 200, in my opinion, on that. So, it's a pretty good pickup on that one. A little bit heavy. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have a pair of speakers, and these are ceiling speakers, and one is brand new still in the box, and the second one they had, you know, in the plastic taped to this other box. Well, of course I have my handy little knife and I cut the tape just to see what this one is, and it's an audio source uh, IC6S ceiling speaker, and we got the pair of them, both of them, uh, for, you know, it's tagged for nine bucks, but 25% off that, so seven ish or whatever these comped out solds for around 50 maybe 60 if i push it you know because i push it you know that's what i do so that was a pretty good pickup next up we have this nordic wear cake pan my wife picked this up and this is an octopus you know it's the heavy aluminum thick aluminum cake pan and uh marked at six bucks you know after our discount a foreign change or whatever and uh, there was an auction for one of these that was still going on when she comped it and it was in the 40s somewhere so this is probably 40 to 50 dollar maybe even higher you know you know i like to push it so uh we don't know exactly but uh it'll bring good money nonetheless okay next up we have this um french press coffee set this bodum with two small cups, uh, removable handles. I uh, picked this up for $3, because it was 50% off, blue and pink. Um, comps are all over the place on these, of course, but uh, we think it'll bring around 30 bucks or so, you know, being new in the box and everything. This is something that they, when they first came out, they were only about 20 bucks, but they've actually appreciated in value a little bit. So, not a whole lot, but a little bit. They have a following. Next up, we got a bag. A, uh, somebody asked in the comments what a job lot bag was. Job lot bag. They throw a bunch of crap in a bag, price it. <laughs> uh, pick this up for two and change after our discount. And the uh, primary reason, this is a good bulb on this side. It's an LED bulb, but the primary reason is a switch. The switch sells for about 20 bucks. And, uh, you know, it's a quick list, a quick, easy ship. And that's why I picked it up. You know, the margin isn't great. But it's just super easy being brand new and it is it's brand new okay next up we got a pair of these and whatever you think of apple i don't really care it's because we're gonna make money we got a pair of these apple travel tumblers and there are 10 years of iphone tumblers uh one has the uh brand new with the insert still in it and everything and they're both new it's just one has the insert and one doesn't no comps for these we paid a buck and change each for them, you know, after our discount. Uh, none. There was none listed, none sold, nothing. But anything that's branded Apple sells. Anything. So uh, what these will bring, I have no idea. But we are confident we'll make money after a dollar and change for those. Okay, on to some awesome clothes. Stick around. you learn something. So I know a lot of people don't like clothes, but you can make money. So first off, we have this... And this is going to be a common theme. I don't even know if I'm going to say it every time. Brand new with the tags. Maybe this whole stack. Seriously. So, uh, brand new with the tags. Ping. Uh, polo shirt. It's kind of a small, uh, thin ringer polo. But it has BA, BAE Systems uh, logo on it, which is not a big deal. They're a big contractor here locally in D.C. Uh, a lot of employees. Brand new with the tags. There it is. Retail price is $75. And we picked this up for three bucks, 50% off. That's actually less than three bucks because the way this worked is blue and pink were 50% off. Well, after all that's uh, rang up at three bucks, then we do our coupon stuff, an additional 25% uh, off that. So three bucks minus 25%. So yeah, cheap. <laughs> but that'll do okay, probably in the 30s. Next up, we got this. This isn't great. It was just brand new with the tags, and it had a little bit of vintage on it. So uh, this uh, it's brand new with the tags. Chevrolet T-shirt. Um, this is. I remember them having these. This is probably from uh, early 
2012 or so. So not super old, but uh, only gave three and change for this after our discount. It's still, you know, it has the um, real label on it. You know, modern t-shirts all have the freaking tagless, you know, um, thermal label on them. But uh, so, you know, this one's a little bit older. Just don't know exactly when, but it's new with the tags. It's not any good brand or anything. Well, it's a GM licensed product shirt. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll sell in the 20s. You know, I was looking up comps just for Chevy shirts and stuff, and they were all, you know, brand new with the tags in the 20s. Okay, next up we have... Cool! Parrothead Picker, where you at, bro? We got a Margaritaville Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. The Great Smoky Mountains uh, Margaritaville shirt. Brand new with the tags. There's a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so uh, this one was, you know, marked at four bucks. We got 25% off, so three bucks, and uh, brand new with the tags. So, uh, and these sell because it has all the, you know, the really nice graphic with the parrots and the convertible. What's that? It's a Corvette. My wife's dad had a Corvette like that. Check that out. <laughs> Back in the 60s. <laughs> so that's a really good shirt. It's uh, another one that's in the 20s somewhere. Maybe 30 if I push it, you know. So. Next up, guess what? Brand new with the tags. Um, this is a Tommy Bahama. Uh, Tommy Bahama can be hit and miss, but my rules for Tommy Bahama stuff is if it's silk or linen, get it. Especially if it's new with the tags. And this is linen. This is the clear lake color. Paid, uh, I'm bumping 10 bucks for this after discount. But uh, being linen, yeah, that'll sell really well. Probably in uh, 40s or 50s somewhere. And it's a uh, extra large, huh? Maybe I'll keep it for my trip. Who knows? <laughs> okay, next up we got a North Face short sleeve button up shirt. Guess what? Brand new with the tags. Uh, I actually comped this one because it, this type of clothing you just can't guarantee throw it in the cart and keep on going because the price was twelve ninety nine. I got twenty five percent off, so you know that ten dollar range or so. But when I comp this, there is solds on this for forty and fifty dollars. So this is the same exact shirt because there's a model on the tag. It's a it is a road trip shirt is what they call it. And there's the retail tag, sixty bucks. So, yeah, pretty nice shirt there. I'm gonna have to get out my steamer. Cool. Okay. A pair of vintage Levi's. And you're like, how can you tell they're vintage Levi's? Well, look at them. Look at those tags. And these are, this isn't even an orange tag or a red tag. It's kind of a gold tag. I can't say I've really ever seen this tag before. But uh, brand new with the tags. They may have a date on these somewhere, but check out, this is, yeah, check out that old tag, old style tag. And these were only, uh, seven dollars and fifty cents after our discount so i had to look in on these and uh, a lot of times they put a year on them these are called flex denim levi's signature but yeah pretty cool i don't know what they comp for there was none of these listed anything but i just know vintage levi's at that price point i'm going to get them um could be as low as 40 bucks it could be as high as 100 bucks who knows Next up, these, I'm glad there was two of them, because if there was one of them, I would have passed, and you'll see why. These are brand new with the tags, but these are just uh, a guide series by uh, from Gander Mountain, uh, long sleeve button up shirts, heavy duty. Uh, they're both extra large tall, and this was five bucks. Even at five bucks, this if this was been by itself, I would have passed, because these only sell for 20 or 25 dollars. So after your fees, your cost of goods, you know, uh, making a profit between 10 and $15. But double your money makes it worth it because there's a second one, different color, same size. They'll be lotted together, you know, hopefully get about 50 bucks out of them. So $10 in to get 50. Yeah, I'll do that every time. So it's really nice. All the animals are wanting to say hello to you guys. Popular. Okay, just a few more left. This one's pretty cool. This is a Pacific Legend apparel made in Hawaii. A uh, little bit of vintage on it being made in Hawaii. 
This isn't a special fabric or anything. Uh, so the things that go against this is it's just cotton and it's small. It is a size small, literally. The things it does have going for it, brand new with the tags, and it has the parrots and the hibiscus flowers on it. People love this stuff. Those colorful gra graphics. Yeah, and there's the brand new with the tags and paid $7.50 for this. The, I mean, if it wasn't for the size of this, this would probably sell for 60 or $70. But because of the size, it's probably more 40 or $50 on that. So still a nice find like that. Next up, we got a ping quarter zip pullover. Guess what? Brand new with the tags. And this is a double extra large, and this was $7.50. I didn't comp this because I've sold these before for 40 or 50 bucks, and that's what this one will sell for. So picked that up and just threw it in the cart and kept on going. This Southern Tide Performance Polo shirt. Guess what? Brand new with the tags. I paid $6.50 for this one. And this one has the University of Georgia UGA logo on it as well that actually helps this shirt if if that uh ugga logo wasn't on it this is probably a 25 dollar shirt or so with the ugga logo on there 35 dollars maybe even 40 so yeah having that embroidered logo helps that shirt next up we got a this is next to the last item we got a peter millar uh sweater and it is brand new with the tags there it is right there got this for five dollars and this is a, an extra large and this is a linen and cotton blend if this was just a plain jane cotton i probably would have still picked it up but it would only have brought you know 25 dollars or so being that this is a linen and cotton blend this is probably a 50 dollar sweater so yeah really nice really nice okay last item a sports coat and this is a brand I do not recommend oh actually I had something else hidden down here we got one more thing after this um, I would not ever buy this item unless it was new with tags and this is a there's the tag here it is it's a Tasso Ella brand which is sold at you know Dillard's and Nordstrom's and Macy's and stuff so it's not like it's super cheap or but it's just not a high-end brand but this is brand new with the tags and it was only seven dollars and fifty cents the other thing this has going for it is that it's wool it's a it's not some synthetic fiber blazer it's a pretty high quality wool blazer and uh but still even with that said being brand new with the tags and i paid 750 for it this probably is only going to sell for 50 or 60 dollars or so still not that bad but uh you know if this would have been a really high-end brand or silk or you know something like that it could have been in the hundreds oh here's the tag i was looking for earlier check out the retail price on this bad boy though 595 dollars no way <laughs> there's no way but uh yeah that you know i'll shoot high you know maybe 60 maybe even 75 you know who knows but yeah that's a really nice find but being if that was used no i wouldn't even mess with it okay so last item i feel this is the last item it was hidden this is a teak wood tray by Dolphin. We sell this Dolphin stuff all the time. Usually the CD racks and yeah, tambours and all that kind of stuff. And pick this up for two and change. And you know, this is $30, $35 stuff, you know, all day that being teak. It's not in perfect condition. It doesn't have to be, you know, so people love the teak stuff. That is it, guys. That is our haul. Uh, thanks to all you guys. Thanks to all the super chatters, patrons, subscribers, old subscribers, new subscribers, and everyone in between. We do appreciate it. Um, we'll work on this and get it up tonight for patrons, and we'll be public tomorrow for YouTube. Sorry I missed the live video today, but I just wasn't feeling inspired. That's my fault. So, but we will see you guys tomorrow with this video, and I will figure something out for Wednesday and be there for you. So, thanks. Appreciate it. See you guys later.